Hey, you guys like Dave Mustaine? Well, if you don't, too bad, because we have a lot of guitars to talk about. Yes, everybody, at the time of this filming, just yesterday, there was another, another collection of guitars with Dave Mustaine's name attached to them. Through the Gibson umbrella, however, now it's with Kramer and Epiphone. We got a whole bunch of Vs to talk about today, and I'm stoked. So in case you're unfamiliar with what's going on, let me catch up to speed. Here's Dave Mustaine's Instagram right here. Boom! We have five guitars to check out. And at first glance, they kind of look like something we've seen before, i.e. with the Gibson collection. However, taking a look at the headstocks, we have Kramer's and Epiphones. And truthfully, I really don't have too much knowledge of these guitars, even though they were announced yesterday, meaning I didn't read up on them. I kind of want to make this video a genuine reaction and kind of just see what's going on, you know? And what fun is making a video when you know everything already, you know what I mean? So pointing out the obvious, we got three Kramers and two Epiphones. And what's interesting, especially about with this red one right here, this looks like something from the Prophecy series. The Prophecy series came out, or, you know, was revitalized like give or take two years ago now, which is, God, that's crazy, man. Those guitars are already two years old. Um, I really had a lot of fun with my Prophecy Les Paul that I bought for this channel channel and um, yeah man so it should be interesting to see what that one is so let's go to the Kramer's guitar website first because truthfully I'm not too knowledgeable or just too keen on Kramer guitars you know nothing against them it's just not my own cup of tea I've always been more of a Gibson and or Epiphone fan however taking a look at this guitar right here this lime green one yeah I may revoke that statement <laughs> Dame Stain Vanguard Rust in Peace 1300 bucks wow okay whoa you have got my interest Kramer so in case you missed out on one of the green Gibson V's, now we have a Kramer V as well. Oh man, we got a case as well. All right, let's read up on this thing. Take no prisoners. Heck yeah. Kramer is thrilled to welcome Dave Mustaine, the legendary guitarist, vocalist, songwriter, and founder of the multi-platinum selling Grammy award-winning band. The limited edition Kramer Dave Mustaine Vanguard Rusted Piece delivers the powerful, heavy sounds and exceptional playing performance on the stage and in the studio that Dave demands. It's equipped with a symmetrical mahogany Vanguard body and a 25 and a half inch scale mahogany neck. Very cool, man. All right, cool. So I wasn't sure uh, if they were going to do the uh, the one-for-one -one swap, I guess, from Gibson to the, uh, the lesser affordable guitars. Yeah, so in case you guys are unfamiliar, the 25 and a half inch scale Gibson V is a huge selling point because of the added string tension, especially for you know the genre music that Dave Mustaine plays. They're doing that exact same thing with the Kramers. Very cool. So I don't know exactly how limited edition this guitar is. I mean, you know, 10,000 copies is technically limited edition, but regardless, so if you didn't get the Gibson Rust and Peace V, you can get the Kramer one. They also come with Dave Mustaine's signature Seymour Duncan pickups, the Thrashers, so a lot of a lot of bang for your buck, as they say. You know, and continue to look at the guitar here, something I really like is the volute there as well, so the headstock won't break, right? Or, you know, won't break as easily. Rest in peace, <laughs> my silver burst headstock. But yeah, man, I think this certainly does the trick, dude. Like, you know, truthfully, I'm not a huge Megadeth or, you know, Dave Mustaine fan. I'm like a greatest hits type of fan, you know what I mean? Like, I know all the classics. But regardless, man, I know there's a lot of dedicated guitar players out there that really, really are fond of Dave's guitar playing and his gear and, you know, all the above, right? So, man, what a what an affordable what an affordable alternative to the Gibson. Soldier on with this exciting new artist model for metal icon Dave Mustaine. Dude, heck yeah, man. I'm stoked. Soldier on. Hey, wait a minute. Is that the Megadeth? Is that the Megadeth font on the Kramer logo? Is that what I'm seeing here? Yeah, cause like, look, there's the there's the Kramer logo, and then looking at this, oh yeah, that, dude, that, I think that's like the Megadeth font logo. That's actually kind of cool, man. And honestly, like this silver one is really cool. The silver one's always been my favorite Gibson variant. So now again, like they have it in Kramer form. That's awesome. And for 1,300 bucks, it's literally the same guitar, but just country of origin is different. If I had to guess, I'm assuming China. You know, for 1,300 bucks. And with everything you get, like a case and the signature pickups and Grover tuners, like it's very spec'd out and for not a lot of money. So not that the country origin matters, it's really doesn't bother me at all. I play a lot of guitars made all over the world, but you know, a lot of people are really keen on that. And um, yeah, I'm just curious to see where they're actually made. They also all come with an ebony fingerboard, which is cool because you know, fingerboards, whatever to me, but like from an aesthetic and especially for a metal aesthetic, ebony's the way to go, you know? So those are the Kramers. Let's check out Epiphone. Shop now. Dave Mustaine, Flying V Custom slash Flying V Prophecy. Ah, I'm smart. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we got a Prophecy. We're going to save the Prophecy for last because, oh wow, these are expensive. Only by $100 and $200 respectively. But what's interesting is the Prophecy appears to be a little bit more spec'd out, probably because of the Fishman's. I said it in a video yesterday that Fishman's are arguably the most expensive pickups on the market. Remains to be seen but that's probably what it is. Let's check out the Epiphone Custom V first. Wow. That's actually really clean looking. And that's coming from somebody who doesn't really like plain black guitars. I think black, especially for metals, kind of like been there, done that. That actually looks really clean. Something about with the Epiphone logo and the, the hockey stick headstock. 
I don't know, man, that leg actually looks really, really cool. So I'm really curious to see if there's anything different between this Epiphone and the Kramer other than the body shape and the actual brand on the headstock. Up right off the bat, 24 and three quarter inch scale. Okay, that actually kind of makes sense because why would you have, you know, the exact same guitar from two different brands at the same time? Kind of would be like, you know, oversaturating your own market. So this guitar is actually a little bit of a shorter scale, the traditional Gibson scale. $1,400, I actually think this guitar is really clean looking. This thing actually looks really sick. That one's my favorite one so far. Let's check out the Epiphone Prophecy right now. So at first glance, it literally just looks like an Epiphone Prophecy with just a different headstock. Mustaine's Signature V gets the Prophecy treatment. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's cut to the chase. Let's see what kind of pickups they have. Front and center are a pair of custom voiced Fishman Fluence pickups that deliver three distinct tones, a warmed PAF tone, a hot modern humbucker, and a shimmering optimized single coil sound. All right, so these don't appear to be any sort of affiliated pickups with Dave Mustaine. They just seem to be the Prophecy pickups, which isn't a bad thing. It's just, you know, it is what it is. And truthfully, it kind of makes sense because it's a Prophecy V, so like, they're kind of just putting Dave's name on a Prophecy V and just putting a different headstock on it. So I guess I get it. I mean, the guitar looks pretty cool, man. Red's actually a color I wouldn't expect from Dave Mustaine for some reason. I really don't ever see him use too much red guitars. You know, I guess when you have like 10 <laughs> flying Vs on the market right now from three different brands, you got to change it up a little bit, right? And that is not a diss at all. That's nothing but a compliment, please. And one thing I really want to highlight here is the scale length because the scale length seems to be like flip-flopping with all these different guitars with Dave Mustaine attached to them. The Prophecy Dave Mustaine V 24 and 3 quarter inches. You know, I want to do something real quick. I want to look at Sweetwater and I want to look up a regular Prophecy V. So these are only $900, you know, only quote unquote. And they have the V custom headstock. So if you want Dave Mustaine's Prophecy V, you have to pay what? $600 more and it just is a different headstock. So in my opinion, I truly don't think like that's worth it. You know what I mean? It's the exact same guitar, different headstock. I think this V headstock is cooler personally because it has the split diamond custom logo. I don't know, man, something about this guitar I think is cool. I like the block inlays on the Epiphone regular Prophecy V versus the dot inlays on the Day Mustaine. So I think the regular Prophecy V would be better for me. So in my opinion, after looking at all these guitars, I think the Kramers are the closest to the Gibsons. And the main thing is the scale length. I remember when Gibson announced that they were doing the Dave Mustaine V and that they were extending the scale length on a flying V Gibson. That was huge news. That was something that like, I never thought Gibson would ever do. So once they've done that, like, I think you got to continue that trend with Dave Mustaine, in my opinion. Who knows, maybe Dave Mustaine wants two different scale lengths. I'm not exactly sure. I'm spitballing right now. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. But regardless, I think the Kramers are the best and they're the cheapest. So everybody, what do you think of the latest rendition of the Dave Mustaine lineup? He's got a lot of guitars, man. So yeah, there's a lot of options to choose from and it's pretty interesting, you know what I mean? Out of all of the guitars that Dave Mustaine has had from Kramer, Epiphone, and Gibson over the last give or take two years, about. <laughs> I certainly think that Silver Kramer that just came out yesterday is my favorite. So everybody, what do you guys think of my thoughts and opinions? Leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for always watching. This is huge, man. Huge news. And I'm just really, you know, really excited to talk about it. So everybody, be sure to subscribe on your way out the door. I'm out of here. Y'all stay safe, stay healthy, stay metal. See you guys next time. Later.